If you want to learn how to make text perfectly equal in PowerPoint, no matter the font, this tutorial is for you. I'll show you how to work with the size and spacing of fonts. fonts and everything and now you are trying to resize the fonts. Normally you are going here to the home tab and selecting just the size of the font. You can use the shortcut control and right left bracket key to make it bigger. At first I want to make a sizing frame for my slide. I go to insert shapes and I simply insert a rectangle shape on the left side. I press ctrl D to duplicate it and I put the same one on the right side. Now I want to make sure that this font will reach from the left to the right side. We are normally doing this only with the font size, but it may be that we are not perfect here. So what's very important to remember, make a slide smaller. We can come closer with our control and scroll wheel and we can take a look how much we still need. We are going to home and we are incrementing this font by a couple of numbers. It seems that 169 is almost good, but it's too much. So the great thing here is that we can go 168 point, for example, six. All right, it seems a tiny bit more, 0.7 will do the trick. So you can increment fonts, not only by bigger numbers, but also on those decimals by 0.1. Now the second font. The problem with the second font is that we only have one word here. So it will look a bit weird if we have such a big word for this design. So in my opinion, a font size of 200 should be enough here. The good thing here is that this font goes a little, this P goes a little bit outside of this box. So I will not have to do as much work. This should be completely enough when it comes to the size of this font. So what we want to do, we want to use the character spacing but it seems both loose and very loose are not enough. So we are going into more spacing and in the spacing options, we can increment the spacing how we want. I will start with 5.5 points. All right, that gives me plenty of space between the letters, but it seems it's still not enough. But the important takeaway of this tutorial is that you can use this feature also incremented by 0.1 to make those spaces as you like. Okay, 7.2. This is almost enough, but for the sake of this design, all right, the last text, I'm incrementing it again with my control and right bracket key. And with this simple font, it seems it will be a bit easier and we are lacking just a tiny bit here. So 72 point, for example, four. All right, it seems we even overdid it. 72.2 all right and just by deleting those left and right objects we would have this distributed perfectly here in powerpoint you can work with the font size and with the character spacing both of those features can be incremented by 0.1 so you can get those perfectly equal fonts no matter which font you use how big it needs to be and what design you want to produce so you will always get those perfect results so if you'd like to learn more PowerPoint with me, you have links to my premium courses down below. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this tutorial is a big help. If it did help you, I'd appreciate a little thumbs up. If no, that's fine. Continue your work. That's the most important that you've learned something new in PowerPoint. See you later.